wear your bra just doesn't seem necessary. TMI maybe? Possibly? That's so awkward. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, hi, I'm Kathleen. And for those of you who are frequent visitors to Kathleen's Closet, that sounds kind of weird. Um, welcome back. So today I have a favorites video and I can't remember the last time I did a favorites video, but I have been watching so many favorites videos lately and just getting so much inspiration from what everyone's been loving. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to share with you guys what I love. And I got so excited to do this video that I am totally still in my pajamas and I am not wearing a bra. TMI maybe? Possibly? But look how cute this shirt is. It says the snuggle is real. So cute! Of course, I had to do my makeup and hair, but um, wearing a bra just doesn't seem necessary. Okay, so the first product is a cult favorite and I am just now hopping on the bandwagon, but that's totally okay. Uh, my boyfriend and I were at Target and he was looking for a new razor blade for his razor and I walked past this and I was like, okay, fine, I'm gonna try it. I'm just gonna try it, you know, who knows? I really didn't have many high expectations for this. I do use the Hourglass Mineral Veil, which is expensive ridiculously expensive I don't know why but one of my friends a long time ago told me that it was the holy grail primer and she has very oily skin so it was perfect for her and it worked great for me but it is very drying and this is five dollars and it works just as well however it is not drying I would still wear the hourglass mineral veil on like days where it's gonna be really 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 hot and you don't want so much oil but if I'm just going to work or something and I don't want my skin to look super dry I will go with this it is amazing it smells so good anyone who hasn't tried this out just just try it it's weird I know you're gonna be in the men's aisle like what is going on but it's so good and you get so much product. That's like my whole hand right there. Crazy. So the next product that I have been loving, no surprise here, but I have been obsessed with the um, Katy Perry Katy Cat Matte lipsticks. I just think they are adorable. I have a whole video on them. I will link it somewhere around here um, if you want to check it out, but it's just like my whole review and swatches and everything. But I have honestly been loving these. They're so fun. Like, I love the colors for summer, and they last a long, long, long time. I um, have said in my last video, I'm not a CoverGirl fan. I find, like, a couple of things here and there, but I'm just not a huge CoverGirl fan. And these are amazing, so I'm starting to possibly become a CoverGirl fan. And again, on the theme of CoverGirl, uh, the full lash bloom. I, okay, I'm starting to like CoverGirl, what can I say? Uh, I was shopping for a new mascara because I lost all of my mascaras. I'm somebody who only gets like one or two mascaras at a time. I do not like wasting them. Um, so I was, I lost both of them. So that's like the negative part of that. Uh, but I needed to get one, so I went to Target. Man, I go to Target a lot. Picked this one up because I thought it was cute and pink, and I've heard so much about CoverGirl mascaras that I was like, fine, I'll give it a try, you never know. And I really like this. The first two times I used it, hated it. Awful. Um, but after you use it for, you know, it, it's like a normal mascara. After you let it dry a little bit, it gets that perfect consistency. And the thing I like about this in particular is that it didn't take a long time to get to that good consistency. Usually with mascaras, you have to wait at least like a week or two for it to get that like thick consistency. This happened in two days. It's great and I've been loving it. It's really buildable and pretty and I like it and the bottle's cute so yeah go CoverGirl once again. Okay so the next product I have is again from the drugstore. It is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser for Dark Circles and this was a suggestion from my friend Delphine. Delphine Winter's on here. She always just has like the most flawless face and I was like I kept telling her I'm like I just can't find a good concealer and she suggested this and I checked it out and now I'm like halfway done with it and I've only had it for a little while so it's really really good. I also want to try the Maybelline Fit Me concealer um, 
but this one's really really good it's just so easy to use like I don't even have to really blend it out very much it just kind of you just tap it on a little bit and it's good to go and it's really nice um I also want to try the brightening one I've heard that one's really good also so yeah okay next beauty product um is a moisturizer fun fact I cannot remember the last time that I bought myself a moisturizer I always like when I'm going to Sephora.com or something I'll click on getting like a little sample either whether it be like the hundred point little jar samples or the little packets I always for some reason have moisturizer samples so I never really need to buy one and I actually ran out of all my samples so I'm like you know what this is the day this is the day so I tried the Simple Replenishing Rich Moisturizer, super basic packaging, like nothing crazy special about it, but I've heard from YouTubers that Simple's a great uh, skincare line, it's affordable, and this one was really nice because it doesn't have parabens, it doesn't have perfumes or dyes, it's just simple, like, oh, I totally didn't even mean to do that, I'm so punny. <laughs> awkward really nice and I don't feel like I'm putting a bunch of like chemicals on my face so that's always good one last beauty product so I have the Becca Jacqueline Hill palette and I have been loving champagne pop like everybody else uh, the one that I have is like I think I got it during the holidays but it's got like this um, kind of rosy copper color it's also got this like bright white highlighter and of course champagne pop um, I like, I like getting like the packaged ones because I feel like it's a better deal. I just dipped my finger in it. <sighs> Ooh, it's like fairy dust. Oh, I hate when that happens. Anyways, I have been loving Champagne Pop. It's like the perfect golden-y summer color and I'm totally into like the whole bronze look right now as with every other girl. Uh, what I've been doing lately has been, I've been putting like Sunbeam from Benefit and just putting it like right here and then right on top I put Champagne Pop and it's like BAM! It's like goldeny, bronzy goodness and it's so pretty and I'm super excited for her, uh, her new palette with the blushes and everything. Although I was very upset because I waited one day, one day! And it already sold out on Sephora.com and I was a little bit annoyed. But it's okay because it's going to be coming out. I'll get it eventually, but I wanted it like right away, you know. Luckily, my job is literally right across from a Sephora so I can go first thing in the morning that day and be all good and have my beautiful new blush palette and everything will be good in life and yeah, I'm rambling. Sorry if I sound a little snuffly by the way. I'm like trying to convince myself that I don't have a cold, but I'm pretty sure I do. So yeah, we're just gonna fight through it, power through it, you know, yeah. Um, next product I have, I believe it's the last beauty product that I have, is an oldie but a goodie. It is the Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Hairspray, and I have been using this awful hairspray that I got from Sally's like a long time ago and I've been trying to use it up because I'm really trying not to be wasteful with my products and it was just making my hair so crunchy and I've been wearing it all month long and it's so nice especially for the summer again you want to have like beachy curly like loose comfy hair like you don't want it to be crunchy so this is perfect it smells like summer so that's even better it just has you know Garnier products have the best smell Okay, so I have two clothing favorites. Both are still available, so I didn't want to like show you guys stuff that, you know, you couldn't buy. But um, I'm gonna be a little biased right now because since starting working at J. Crew, almost every single clothing item that I buy is from J. Crew. I don't know, it's a thing. Um, but this just came out. <gasps> And it's so, so pretty. I posted it on my Instagram. If you aren't following me, check it out. But it's just, ah. Oh. So this is the necklace. It's like iridescent, gorgeous, sparkle. Ah, oh, I'm just obsessed with it. It's so pretty. I wish that it's not even picking up all the iridescence on camera. It's even better in person. If you do not have any J. Crew jewelry, you just don't understand how 
addicting it is it's so pretty and once you have one piece you just keep going i will link this down below if it's still available online but i know that most stores still have like a couple hanging out so try and find it if you're in love with it as much as i am i just think that even though it is kind of crazy and out there because it's so iridescent it goes with so many things and it just dresses anything up so so pretty i love it and the second thing that i have been loving fashion wise is my denim jacket i was one of the few people in the world that does not have a denim jacket and for summertime i'm like this is gonna be perfect i just i need one so this is from j crew as well and this one has the this one's the one that I feel like not a lot of people get it's the lighter colored one and it's got the silver buttons and it's just so sturdy and so perfect um, but I just love the J crew one in particular because it just feels like quality and with a denim jacket in particular you're gonna wear it a lot it's definitely one of those pieces that is worth the investment um, and I just love this one it's got a little bit of distressing but it's not too much and uh, it's just so pretty so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one bye